Ciao. You want to go get the eggs? Yeah. Almost all the leaves are gone. I enjoy watching them fall, but it's kind of sad when they're all gone. Mr. Man's waiting on me up here. We're going to get the eggs. Tyler didn't get them this morning, he said. There she goes. There she goes. Oh, did she get you? Yeah, she <laughs> Georgette, what you doing? She probably thought you had some feed. There they go. They know exactly where the feed is. And there's Miss Turkey. It's so funny to watch her run behind them. Six eggs today. the sea in there you hear the ocean let me see yep I hear it one cup of water going in the instant pot I have the rack in there we're about to put some sweet potatoes in if I can find the sweet potatoes oh I found them we're about to make a big old breakfast for supper and it's kind of Thanksgiving stylish we're gonna make sweet potato pancakes you're super strong on your foot so yeah we're making sweet potato pancakes I think we'll only need about four of the sweet potatoes. Now we'll just poke some holes in them. I like to use a knife because it just goes through them better than a fork. And I can't tell y'all how many times I've stabbed myself with a fork. I mean, a knife would be worse to accidentally do that with, but don't try this at home though. Y'all use a fork. Everybody else use a fork. I'll live dangerously over here. Now I'm just gonna cook them on high pressure for eight minutes. Pressure cook, eight. Titus is gonna be on pancake duty. He's making sweet potato pancakes. I just went ahead and got them in the Instant Pot for him. These are some leftover of the little Thanksgiving treats we made. Jonah turned them into Christmas. He made a reindeer one and a Santa one. <laughs> he was storing them in the microwave. I am throwing some puff pastry in the microwave. I'm gonna make some little farmhouse breakfast tarts. To thaw the puff pastry in the microwave, you just, you can leave these little things in here because of course if you try to open it, they're gonna break. You just put it in there for 15 seconds, flip it over and do it for 15 more seconds. Preferably the box says wrap it in a paper towel, but I'm out of paper towels So we're living dangerously and doing it without the paper towels. We will do this. It's you know sort of the same effect Just put it in between two paper plates there for weeks and weeks I've heard this man talk about an arctic blast. I'm watching this old boy right here right now There is some cold weather coming in I'm just gonna let these sit over here now and continue to thaw before I even try to unfold them I'm trying to decide if I want to cook my sausage and bacon on the blackstone. Good Let's egg. just do everything on the blackstone. There you go. Oh! A friend made it. A friend made hmm. Oh, it's so cross. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm out to go ahead and turn on the blackstone, but the propane tank needs to be changed. So, let's see. I've never changed the propane tank on this before. We'll call in reinforcements. I mean, I'm sure I could figure it out, but there are others here who know how to do it faster. So, it's the chicken train and turkey. Oh, okay. I didn't twist it hard enough. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna get the sausage started first, and I'm just gonna use this little iron skillet here. Already it's smelling good. Y'all hear the turkey? Hash browns are gonna go over here. Just put a little bit of butter. called in the professional hash brown flipper. Y'all watch, ready? Y'all ready? What? What? <laughs> I ain't no pro at this. Quick 
sweet potato pancakes. Okay, so we're going to go in with two and a half cups of this best quick pancake mix here. How do you lift this thing? Just push it. Okay, everybody, we're going in with one cup of milk, a half a cup of heavy cream, and one teaspoon of Laura Lynn vanilla extract. Okay, everybody, just thought I was going to eyeball it, but we're going to do it with this right here so we know we're getting the exact right measurement. Now, you may not have one that's been kind of near some heat and dented a little bit. That's fine. If you don't have one of those, all you got to do is basically get one and put it near a little bit of heat and it will do that for you. Three tablespoons of sugar. We're going in with two good eggs. If you got bad eggs, get you some good ones. Half a tablespoon of baking powder. Now this is where it gets good. McCormick ground cinnamon. Don't matter really what kind you use, just make sure you get some. Not much, just enough to give it a little hint. Now remember, now remember I was gonna say member, but some of y'all may not know what that means. Now remember, to just put a hint of cinnamon in there. You don't want to overpower this with cinnamon. And after you get all that in there together, then begin to mix it. All right, y'all, back over here. The puff pastry is thawed now. What the noise is in the background is I'm still mixing. You're getting the best of both worlds right here, everybody, as you tune in to Moss Family TV. We bring to you Bisquick sweet potato pancakes on this beautiful fall evening. And farmhouse breakfast tarts. And farmhouse breakfast tarts. So we'll just cut this into fours real quick. Well, there's a lot of smells in here, Bubba. There's a lot of different types of smells coming into our nostrils. We got some hash browns. And we also have some Bisquick sweet potato pancakes over there mixing. These first four, we're not gonna do spicy. First, I'm just putting down a little bit of cheese. Now I'm just gonna take some bacon. And I could chop, you want some bacon? He probably smells the bacon. Come on, we can get you some as a point going, Bubba. We could chop this real quick, but this is farmhouse style. We just gonna farmhouse break it up. Farmhouse style, right we're here. We just gonna break it up a little bit. We will use a little spoon for the sausage here. Now we're going with hash browns. We're getting a different idea today, everyone. As we look at Fallon as she begins to teach us how to use puff pastry. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I actually haven't used puff pastry a lot. Paula is the one who got me going with puff pastry. Not Paula Dean, Paula down there in the comments. Hey Paula! Paula. Now we'll put just a few more little pieces of cheese on here. Because you can't have too much cheese. Now y'all, no. we, we have discovered that this is the best cheese actually on this planet right it's, here. It's really good. It's the Tillamook. Uh, we don't know what they're using on Mars, but yeah. we know that this right here, we don't know if we're ever going to get to Mars, but if we do, I'm bringing this to them right here and let them yeah. know, listen, boy, listen. I don't know if y'all eating only can look up here, but I'm gonna tell you something. Y'all need some of this kind of cheese right here, and I'm gonna have to ask my wife right now. Y'all got a cell phone, I'm gonna have to call her right quick. What in the world kind of cheese is this, mama? Tillamook. Y'all can't say that. I know, <laughs> I can't say it either. Tillamook. Y'all don't even talk, do you? Okay, so <laughs> we just folded up the corners, and you don't wanna close it up all the way because you wanna be able to see all that goodness in there. So we just folded up the corners, and we're gonna transfer this to Mama, the baking sheet. Mama, what this supposed to be, like a little pizza? Yeah, we're gonna transfer it to the baking sheet, but we're not done yet. We still have to do one more thing. Still no, gotta do another I'm little sorry. step. I'm sorry, I said yeah about it being like a pizza. Well, I mean, it can kinda be, but not, I mean. Okay, this is Sometimes keep it real. I just say yeah. She whatever. just said yeah to me sometimes because <laughs> yeah. I ask all these questions. Oh, sometimes I just say yeah. Well, this supposed to be kinda like a little stop sign? Yep. <laughs> so we're folding up our corners here. Folding up our corners. Bring this over here. Now we have an egg white in this little bowl with just a little bit of water. You rub this egg wash on here. Now, these are going in the oven for about 10 to 20 minutes until the puff pastry, you know, puffs up and starts to brown on top. I'll start pastry. shaking it, yeah. When it puffs up and gets pastry, you take it out. Now, we're gonna take two of these peppers and go ahead and chop them up for the spicy ones, and I'm just gonna do them in little pieces. His pancake batter was a little thicker than he wanted it to be, so he added just a little bit more milk, y'all. He's trying to do stuff in secret over there. Everybody 
everybody, we're getting it where we can move them like that. Once you can move the entire pancake and bump him into his buddy, go ahead and, oh yes. Titus, thank you today for what you're doing. Well, let me tell you, I messed up one batch. We're doing it again. Scoot that back real quick. That's all you gotta do is just scunch it back. Scunch it. Scunch it. We are almost there. These are the fill the plate pancakes because yes. fill, one fills up the whole now, plate. Now, that's exactly right. Now, I'm going to tell you something what you got with these right here because I did taste some of that first batch. Little pieces that, you know, wouldn't burn. Go ahead and do it because you're going to really like the way these things taste right here. You get a good fluffy, not a dried out pancake, a real, look at that. See how airy that is? That's what you're after, everybody, right there. Now, we're getting a little baking action going, everybody. We're getting the grits ready. Cheesy eggs are about to go down right here. The spicy breakfast tarts are almost done. Just a couple more minutes. Manny, what's that smell? Bacon. <laughs> I just pulled the bacon off the black stone, everybody. That's your crispy bacon right there. 